Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Watch Me Wholesale Show. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this. Here's how it works. I'm gonna randomly choose a market and then I'm gonna quickly find a lead in that market, analyze it, run the numbers, and then call and make an offer, all sight unseen. So if you're a hands-on type of learner like me, you're gonna really love this live action video series. Get ready to look over my shoulder and watch the entire process from getting a lead to making an offer coming up. This video is brought to you by Flipster, the nation's number one real estate software with tools for finding, funding, and flipping houses. Check it out now at getflipster.com. If you're new here to the channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMaster.com and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. Okay guys, so the goal is to randomly choose a market find a distressed property, and then while you're watching on my screen, I'm gonna show you how to quickly analyze that lead, determine the wholesale offer price, and then make an offer sight unseen. Now, other than editing out some of the irrelevant things, you're gonna see this entire process really just unfold how it happens. Now, there are a few things I wanna point out before we get started. One is I'm gonna use on-market leads for one primary reason, it's gonna be faster, because I can find an active home for sale. Hopefully I can contact the agent, we can make the offer. And that's in the interest of time. Now the same thing can apply with off-market leads. If we had more time, we could do it that way. The second thing I wanna point out here is the point of this is not to actually get a deal. That would be amazing if we could, that's our you know intent, but it's really to show you the process from lead to analyze to offer so that you can feel comfortable about that. And the third thing I wanna point out before we get started is I'm gonna do this entire thing manually, meaning without any tools. So it's gonna be all using free stuff on the internet and a calculator right on my computer. But stick around to the end of this video because I do wanna show you a way to really do this at a whole new level where you can do it faster with some amazing tools. All right, so if you're ready, let's get started. You can see here on my screen that I've got 10 markets that we've randomly chosen and I'm gonna now spin the wheel digitally <laughs> and we're gonna see where we land. Spin, 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 come on, baby. All right, Fort Wayne, Indiana is the winner. All right, so on this one, let's use Zillow instead of Redfin to find us a lead that we can analyze and make an offer on. So I'm gonna go to Zillow and I'm just gonna type in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up a map of all of Fort Wayne and all these red dots are actives for sale. So what I need to do here is I need to put in a couple of filters to try to find us a lead. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it at for sale right now. For the price, I'm gonna put a minimum of 10,000 just so I get rid of rentals and you know little vacant lots and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put the minimum price at 10,000. I'm gonna leave beds and baths alone under home type. I'm gonna just have houses clicked so we get rid of everything else and then under the more tab what I'm going to do here guys I'm going to try a little trick here with keywords so see this keywords tab and I could type in for sale by owner I could type in fixer investor TLC any number of keywords that would try to uh, pull out a distressed property so I'm going to type in TLC that's a very common one that a lot of people use it means tender loving care it means the property needs some work so if I put in the filter TLC, check it out guys, it found a handful of properties here that are using TLC in the description somewhere. So let's take a look here. Let's pick this first one here, 129.9 on Glenwood. It's a two bedroom, but it's 1200 feet. So that's interesting. Usually if you have 1200 square feet, you're not a two bedroom, you're a three bedroom. Maybe it originally was a three bedroom and someone took out a wall to make a bigger room or a bigger be like bedroom or living room or whatever. We don't know. There are some pictures here, so let's kind of take a quick look. I mean, nice curb appeal, looks sharp from the outside. Siding and everything look good. And then we get in here, old kitchen, old appliances. Definitely paint and definitely refinish these wood floors. You can see there's some electrical. So, I mean, definitely an older home, cracks in the walls. You know, like, you gotta get rid of all that. But there's a garage back there. It looks like the door is beat up, but not that bad. I mean, this is probably, I'm gonna guess about, you could probably get this rehab done for about 15,000 to get it marketable. You know, I would, I would basically just throw in some new cabinets, a countertop, some refinish those wood floors, paint it, and probably call it a day. You know, assuming the roof is good and everything else. 
So here's our property. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite this by hitting the heart. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this tab and now let's go comp this property. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this window down and there's our property. See it right there? We're at the corner here. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comp this neighborhood. I'm not gonna cross these any of these main roads. This is a, a tight enough market of Fort Wayne that I really should not be crossing these main roads. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and remove boundary, then hit the draw button, and we're gonna draw across Vance, uh, whoops, let's come down Beacon, across State, and up Anthony. And then we're gonna click apply. Now it's got the old filters in here, which is, it's only finding our house. So let's go change a couple of these filters. Let's go say that we just want to see two bedrooms. So I'm going to click two bedrooms, exact match. And then I'm going to click done. Houses is fine. Under more, I'm going to take out the TLC. And you can see now it adds a couple of actives. So we've got a two bedroom here that's for sale for 84. We got one for sale. That's teeny, 750. Let's put some more filters in. We're 1,200 feet, so let's put a minimum of 1,000. And what other filters can we put in here? We have a garage, so we could put must have a garage. And we also could put a, I don't think we need to put a max filter because it's a two bedroom. We put our two bedroom. Oh, let's put, let's put uh, 12 months on the days. And then let's go ahead and change this to solds. So if I change this to solds, it found us two comps in our neighborhood that are two bedrooms over a thousand feet with a garage. So we've got this house here. Now this is a ranch, it's a 2-1, 1300 feet, but it matches all of our other filters. And let's just take a quick look. Nice looking house, there's our garage. And it's clean, carpet looks kind of new, but it's not a renovation. But it's not bad. You know, old kitchen, but it's all clean, so it's, it's average. That got 116. Let's look at this one here for 102. Okay, now this is our house. We're a two-story like this. Let's go back to our house. There's our house, right? Very similar, similar style. And okay, so they painted the cabinets. They did the flooring, new appliances, backsplash. So good flooring, paint. So this is a rehab. This is actually the perfect rehab for this price point. Like you don't overdo it, right? So I would do the same thing to that other house. I would do carpet, I would finish floors, I'd paint the trim like they did, paint the walls. Now this is too dark for what people want now. This is kind of a little old, but look at this. New tile bathroom, updated vanities. This is down in the basement. So this is a rehab. This is our comp, guys. So let me close out of this. Okay, so right down here, we're actually up on Glenwood. We're a couple blocks away, not crossing any major roads. I'm done. I don't need to know anything else. So let's let's run some numbers here. If I take if I take our street here, 1830 Glenwood. I'm gonna manually do this, guys. I'm gonna go to my notes. I'm gonna type in a new note. We're gonna call it Glenwood. Let's go ahead and make our font bigger so you can see this. And we're going ARV. By the way, side note here, this is a two bedroom, two bath, and it's a little bigger, and it got 102. So there's, I cannot go over 100 on our ARV. So let's put our ARV at 100,000. Uh, let's put 15,000 as our rehab, and let's run our formula. So if I take, if I take 100,000 times 0.7, Let's just stay there because we're, we don't have a lot of room. We can't, you know, we got to make something on this thing. So let's go 0.7 minus 15,000 equals the fix and flip buy price. So I'm going to grab my calculator. We're going to go 100,000 times 0.7 puts me at 70 minus 15 is going to put us at 55. So our buy price is 55 on this thing, that's to flip That's to flip it. So if I wanna wholesale it and make 15, then I need to be at like 40, you know, maybe maybe 45. Let's call it 45,000 for a 10,000 wholesale. You know, low price home, easy flip. If I got that for 45, I could, I could, 
I could probably uh, wholesale it for 55 to a flipper who's gonna go spend 15, he's all into it for 70, sells it for 100, he makes a few bucks. Easy deal, okay? Now, here's an interesting side note about our deal. Not only does it say TLC, which we pulled from the keywords, remember, in our, in our, in our um, filter, we put TLC as a filter and it found us this lead. But I was just looking here and noticed this is for sale by owner. So if I go down here, these premier agents are advertisements. Don't ever call those. And right here it says property owner and then a phone number. Now this is gonna be not a good call for one reason right off the bat is she's asking 129 and our offer price is, what I just say, 45? 45, my wholesale number. 55 is a flip number, fix and flip number, 45 is a wholesale number for this deal to work. So I'm gonna call this lady and have to try to have a conversation about being at 45 when she's asking 129. Now, uh, is this a waste of time to do this? Maybe, more than likely, yeah. Clearly they're not motivated and clearly they're completely out to lunch to think that they can list this thing for 129 when a fix and flip comp sold for 102 right, <laughs> as a two bedroom. Now, maybe it's a three bedroom where we could get a little more value out of it, but even still, even if I comped a three bedroom, I don't think we're gonna be anywhere near her asking price of 129. But let's do it for fun. I'm gonna call this agent. Now, I want you to know something. If the conversation's not going well and she's not really interested, not motivated, doesn't even wanna talk about a cash offer, I'm probably gonna decide not to do it, but I do want to start my process of staying in contact. I'm dealing now with no agent, private seller, and what's going to happen if, if I'm willing to is I can do a lot of follow-up, I can stick around, I can stay on the scene, and maybe at some point in the future she gets her head out of the clouds and realizes, or he gets, she, because I saw the picture, she gets her head out of the clouds and realizes I ain't getting 129 for this house. And when she's finally ready to have a real conversation, then maybe we can talk about 45. Um, but this house is clean enough. It's move-in ready, it's livable. Uh, she probably could get a much better offer than 45 if she is patient and not in a hurry and can wait for retail. Okay, so if you're ready, let's pick up the phone, let's call this private seller and see where this conversation goes. Yes, hi. Um, I'm calling about your house for sale on Glenwood. Yes. Do you have a minute? Yes. Okay. I'm actually an investor, so I'm looking at it more as an investment opportunity mm -hmm. than a you know, homeowner. Um, yeah. What can you tell me about it? It looks like it's vacant. Did you look on Zillow? Yeah, I'm looking at your pictures on Zillow. Right. Okay, what else can I tell you besides well, what's there? Um, it says it's a two bedroom, but it's got some good square footage. Is there, is there it's a very large master? Okay. It's not a three bedroom that was like converted to a two bedroom that could go back. I wonder, I wonder. You don't know? True, I am the trustee of the estate oh. that owns the house, okay? Okay. I've only known of it for the last three years. Beyond that, the history, I do not know. I see. Gotcha. Okay. Are you the executor then? Yeah. Gotcha. And it's gone through all the, pro it's all through probate now? Not yet. Oh, how it much more longer? First. It has to be sold first. Oh, and then it takes about 90 days? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it can go faster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is it that um, you're hoping to accomplish with it? I mean, do you, is there, I mean, you obviously have it for sale by owner without an agent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. My intent would be to buy it and, and do, you know, redo the floors and update new kitchen. And I'm more of a flipper. Uh -huh. And so that would kind of be my, my goal with it. Uh, I am a cash buyer, so I can, there's no inspections to worry about or financing approval. FHA mm -hmm. or any of that kind of thing. So I could close as quick as you want to. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, you tell me what's what's important. Yeah. What's important what's for important you? What's important to me is to maximize the sale of the property 
for mm-hmm. the heirs who are two young grandchildren. Mm. So the proceeds go to two grandchildren? Yes. I see. Well, that's kind of cool, huh? Well, that's how he set it up. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, that's a great way to get a good start in life, huh? I think so. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing owed on the home, I'm assuming? Yes, there's something owed on the home. Oh, okay. So they've got to get that taken care of and then whatever's left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm sorry, what was your name? Alicia. Alicia. So nice to meet you, Alicia. Alicia. My name... L-U- L-U-C-I-A. Oh, Lucia. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice to meet okay. you, Lucia. Yeah, same here. Yeah, is there, um, how did you get to that number you're at on the ask price? Uh, it was estimate, and then I took some off because it needs some cosmetic touching up. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends what you do right to it, but for sure. Um, yeah. So I do this. It's livable. Yeah, it's livable. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But the yep. new owner is going to want to uh, fix it up. Yeah, yeah, whoever ends up buying it. So, have you looked at any of the sold homes recently in the neighborhood? Yes. Okay. Have you seen the one on Lynn Avenue? Uh, I don't remember the specifics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which one? It's a, it looks very similar. It's, a two, it's like a two-story, and it's a two-bedroom, but it's a two-bath. It's 1,400 uh-huh. It's fourteen hundred feet, so it's a little bigger. Uh-huh. And they completely remodeled it. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. It's it's got you know new kitchen, new flooring, uh-huh. new, all new appliances, backsplash. Like it's new carpet, new paint. It's really nice. Yeah. And um, and it's only a couple blocks away from mm-hmm. your house, and it sold a few months ago for a hundred and two thousand. Uh huh. So you know that's a really strong comp. There are some three bedrooms that definitely pull in a little more. You know, but those are three bedroom and the market really treats a two bedroom differently than a three bedroom. That's why uh-huh. I was that's why I was kinda asking about the uh possibility for a third bedroom. Uh-huh. Well I think it's there. Yeah. I don't know that there ever was, but yeah, I think uh the last tenants used part of that um large mass as a nursery. They uh-huh. still have a gate up where the, where that was, the partition. So you could put a wall right there? Yeah. And then that would add a third bedroom? Mm-hmm. And then would you access that room from the hall still, or how would it? How would well, you, you'd have no, to, it wouldn't be from the hall. You, so you'd have to walk through one bedroom to get to yeah, it? Yeah, unless you put up two walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so yeah, I mean, I'm interested in the property, but I'd have to be, you know, probably quite a bit lower than where you're asking. Uh-huh. If, I mean, are you guys entertaining all offers or what, where are you guys at with? I that? haven't even had my first open house. That's this evening. Okay. So what kind of response I get. Yeah, that'll give you a good pulse on the, on what the market thinks probably. Right. Um, and why are you not listing with an agent? Just curious. Because of my fiduciary responsibility to the heirs to maximize the return. So not pay commissions. Right. Gotcha. And I have a banker who helps me. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, if you can do it without an agent and pay all the commissions, that's a smart way to go. Um, you know, an agent will get you maximum exposure because it won't be just on Zillow. It'll be on the MLS. So sometimes uh-huh. that's. That's a big thing, but yeah, I mean, I hope you get every every penny that you can out of the property. I'd love to follow up with you and see if uh, how it goes with your showing, and you know, if if the heirs are willing to entertain a cash offer, it yeah, would. I think it, the heirs are under age. I mean, not the heirs. I guess you, the executor, <laughs> uh-huh. the decision maker. If you're if you're open to that, then I'd love to talk to you about what it would look like to do a cash offer. But I, again, I go off of values in the neighborhood and, Uh um, you know, it's more of a financial decision than any, anything else Uh and go from there. So could I follow up with you? You said you have your open house today. Uh 
Okay. Yeah. I'd love to, I'd love to follow up with you tomorrow. See how that goes. See what you're thinking the market thinks. And, um, I'm not sure that I will know that by tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's not, let's not put the cart before the horse. Sure. Yeah. Or, or the other way around. Uh huh. I know what you meant. (laughs) It's going to take me a few, uh, you know, weeks to get the feel. Okay. And what is it, what is it that you're looking for just to see what offers you get and what feedback you get? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. That's what I would do too. See what the market says and then go from there. Yeah. But, um, if, if you're at that point where you're serious about, you know, a quick close cash offer, it, it obviously it would be at a discount because I'd have to have enough room to go in and fix it up and resell it. Yeah, but, I'm you know. not keen on a cash offer because the man across the street gave me a low ball offer, so mm-hmm. that kind of turns me off. Yeah, what was his offer? Forty four. Yeah, well, I mean, in his defense, there are some comps that are in the fifties, and I mean, not forty four, but there's some sold homes that are. 51, 72, 57 that are, you know, they need more work, obviously, uh, but they're three bedrooms. Yeah, we'll see what the market will be. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way to know. Yep. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your interest. Yeah, Lucia, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll circle back with you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Okay, so you noticed there that I did not throw out my offer. It was kind of funny because... She said that uh, she got a lowball offer for 44, was it? <laughs> Which is exactly where we are. As soon as she said that, I was kind of thinking in my head, that's the right number. That's a perfect offer. Whoever that person is, I want to shake their hand. They actually comp this property the right way. This house for a wholesaler is 45. It's worth it for 45 for a cash closing, you know, but the the fix and flip number for somebody's probably 55, spend 15, you're all in for 70, sell it for 100. You know, we did the math, guys. You see the numbers on this thing. It is what it is. Uh, but this is, she's not getting a dime. This money's going to the heirs. Two grandkids are seeing this. So she's holding out. She doesn't even want to pay commissions. It's way overpriced. This thing is going to sit here until the millennium if she does not lower her price. There's no way the market is going to pay her anywhere near 129 for that house. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put this in our follow-up sequence which means I'm gonna pass this off to one of my acquisitions, one of my virtual acquisitions managers. I'm gonna tell them, you follow up with this lady routinely, see where we go with this thing. If she starts creeping down on price and we get to a point where they are motivated, they wanna see a cash offer, great. If they don't, then maybe she gets this thing down like to 99.9 and eventually 89.79, maybe she'll get someone that'll bite in the 70, 80 range. It is moving ready and that's how this deal goes down for her. But it doesn't mean that I take myself out of the play. It's all a numbers game, guys. You just get in enough follow-ups and you talk to enough people and stuff starts to stick. You start to get deals. Okay, so I showed you guys how to do this manually, no tools, right on Zillow and uh, using a calculator and some notes. But if you really want to take this to a whole new level, then I want you to check out my Flipster deal management system. Flipster is an all-inclusive cloud-based platform that does everything to help you organize, streamline, and automate your entire wholesaling and flipping business. Everything from lead generation tools to calculators and analyzers to an automated comping tool, digital contracts, everything, a workflow system, follow-ups, scripts, all your tools for from like direct mail to skip tracing to ringless voicemail, um, you know, all of it, text blasting, all of it built into under one roof and one platform. It's amazing and it'll really transform your entire business. So if you wanna see that in action and check that out, just go to getflipster.com. And if you found a lot of value in this video, guys, then leave a comment and say, Jerry, I love the show. Keep doing videos. You are a flipping genius. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel with now almost 600 videos here on the channel. This is the number one channel about wholesaling and flipping. Uh, So be sure to do that now and we'll see you on the next video.